If you hear that sound and you see this similar-ish area, that means you are a nuclear operative who is tasked to blow up whatever station it tells you. In the chat, it will tell you what station you need to blow up, and this station's cluster station. So if you know the station well, uh, that would be a major advantage to come. But you can get by without knowing the stations, and somebody in your team will probably know the station. Immediately, you can tell that there will be five nukies. You are going to have to work together, and there's three types of nukies right now. There's two that you can opt into. There's the commander, which, if I take my mask off, I got the commander. They don't look too much visually different to the normal nukies. So there will be three normal nukies. The medic who wears black, and then the commander who also wears red but has a different looking helmet. The commander is, as it sounds, a commander. They will typically be the one that should make the plan. And you could always do a democracy where like you can vote like three to two, we want to just rush the captain, that goes. That means all five are gonna of us are gonna do that. Or you can tell I want you, Operator Chi, or whatever the hell their name is. Because you'll either have the you have the name operator or agent or commander. So like again, I'm Commander Chi. And you will not have real names. But you could give yourself fake names, but you can't change what you are. You will always be the commander or agent or operator. Anyways, that's besides the point. So there's three nukies, like I was saying. There's the commander, there's the medic, and then there's just the three normal nuclear operatives. The commander doesn't have anything special other than better armor. The syndicate commander hard suit is very, very tanky. It, The helmet especially uh, is one of the tankiest, if not the tankiest helmet in the entire game besides Death Squad. Actually, I think the helmet might even be better than Death Squad's, but the armor as a whole is extremely capable against piercing shots. Uh, it isn't very good against... Um, well, it's good against everything, to be fair. But its biggest weakness is heat by 10% pretty much, which isn't even quite fair. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna break down every single specific. There's too many stats to go through. So your typical kit as a uh, the commander is better armor. You're going to spawn with nothing in your chest rig. All nukies will have a pinpointer. You spawn with one viper and an extra gas mask with some survival box. It's basically just a survival box with a gas mask. All nukies will also spawn with the syndicate uplink, but it isn't like your normal new. It isn't like your normal syndicate uplink. It has unique uh, items in it, and you start with 40 TC instead of 20, unlike the syndicates. But there's some unique purchases immediately in the uh, for Nuki specifically. You can buy things like there's unique things like the macro bomb, and you also lose access to a lot of other things. Like you can't buy surplus crates. You can't buy freedom implants. But you can also buy something like the Syndicate Zombie Bundle, which normal Syndicates can't get access to. Equipment, uh, besides equipment, uh, it's mostly the same. And while I'm here, the normal Nukies have the same exact loadout as a Commander, besides their armor. But real quick, I'll show you what the uh, Medic does. The Medic spawns with also very tanky armor. It is very good against heat resistance, but it's worse against basically everything else, but also still amazing pierce resist um and what's different is you start with a full medical duffel bag which comes with a combat knife and additionally a bunch of surgery tools which you don't really need but the circular saw is a pretty good melee weapon arguably it's arguably better than the combat knife but stats aside, the big thing is you start with a medical chest rig which spawns with two bottles of epinephrine two bottles of ephedrine and one bottle of Omnizine, and an entire combat medical kit, which comes with even more medicine in it. And the big one is it comes with a Gorlax Hypospray. The Gorlax Hypospray is basically just a normal Hypospray, but uh, it can only hold 20 instead of 30, so it's basically a better Hypo pen. And if you know the game, which I hope you know the game basics enough, is that a Hypospray is just an instant inject needle, and since you spawn with uh, Omnizine, Ephedrine, and Efe Ep Epinephrine, and Ephedrine, you can revive Power critical nukies. To the station. We apologize for the inconvenience. You can restore critical nukies very easily, and Omnizine lets you heal like all combat stuff. And while I'm here, on the Nuki planet, 
It comes with a full chem lab, even with plasma, and even extra combat kits of every type. You can even make your own modular grenades. Uh, yeah, so you can make as much medicine as you want. Um, I'll give an asterisk here. It's typically frowned upon to, like, plan on making 500 bottles of bicard, for example. Like, you spawn with pretty... You spawn with a lot of medicine, and the longer you delay, you're just wasting time. Like, you're pl like, It's cool to want to win as Nukies, but playing for, like, four hours to make sure you have every med and every possible grenade takes a long time. And I there's been talks about removing this, so, like, I wouldn't get too comfortable with it. But, besides that... Obviously, in this guide, I can't teach you how to work together with your team. Um... One thing that's to note is that everyone comes with the uh, blood red over your headset, which means that you can talk to the syndicates. So, you obviously use your radio, and no one else can hear this, only uh, your team can. And there won't be any syndicates right now during Nuki, so keep that in mind as well. Alright, so, let's talk strategy. If you do the math, and you combine all of your TC together, you have 200 combined TC. And out here, there's a few extra guns. The C20 actually comes with a free magazine. and um, But it doesn't come with any extra magazines. So you do get a free C20. So somebody could pocket that. You also get a free Cobra. But that's uh, not as impressive. So there's two free guns here. And on the shuttle itself, there's some more weaponry. And what's really important is if you come down here, there's a bunch of lockers, there's a suspicious toolbox, and depending on your strategy, like I said, I'm not going to cover all of it, it might be worth just taking a tool belt instead of your chest rig, so you can be ready for literally anything. And in here, you could, uh, it, you don't really need anything, you could put in the syndicate so shoulder holster from the bags, like if you want to be a lot more efficient and just bring more tools, uh, that's totally up to you. Because it is more storage, and you want to be equipped. Actually, you can't put a multi-tool in a holster, so you'd have to put that one in your bag. But, in these armory closets, is no extra gear, but it comes with a jetpack that is fueled. You absolutely will want every single one of your operatives to have this, at least one per person. And enough delay on this station, on this planet, I mean, is one difference is that this is a planet. So... You actually don't need your EVA out here. It is in the atmosphere, technically, and you won't suffocate. And the goal of the Nukies, after you get off your planet, is you need to board your ship. And around the ship, as you can notice, there's ballistic turrets with 500 bullets each. And they will shoot anyone who is not a syndicate, aka not you. But they're not the most accurate, and you should not rely on it. You definitely shouldn't rely on it. Okay. Now we're on the actual shuttle. First things first, you're going to want to actually turn on your AME so you don't run out of power. And you just put it to 4, you have plenty of fuel, it doesn't really matter. On here there's plenty of oxygen tanks, and Nukies can be any of the races, so if you're a slime, you're going to want the nitrogen, everyone else takes the oxygen. On here, this is the next most important room. You have a bunch of extra C4, you get 5 extra, you get 2 mini bombs. Flashbangs, in which with this, uh, the gas mask, you can't be blinded by flashbangs, so they could be worth taking. And you spawn with this, the pinpointer. The pinpointer will point you to the nuke disc, which you need to put inside the nuclear explosive and detonate it. The pinpointer will always point you to it, so it's worth putting it like in your pocket and always keeping a mental note of where it is. But obviously, it's a question mark here because we don't have the disc. And don't ever forget this. I have done this before. The nuclear authentication is for your explosive and since I have admin tools, you can see NT911590 the code is 282608 and as you can see, it is for the nuke on your station or on your shuttle. You need to bring the nuke with you. And besides that, what a lot of people do, they just simply write out the code and nothing stops you from scrolling up in chat. Like, it's kind of unfun to do that in a way. But, everyone's going to write it down. So, and plus, like, if you really want to not metagame it, you could just easily go into your programs and write it down here. 
And there you go. Now it's a non-meta way, and you don't have to scroll back up and chat. Even though it receive, it's the same result, but it looks cooler this way. So you can always use your note keeper for that. So you can toss the paper, you don't need it anymore. And the nuke by default is unanchored. And yes, I didn't cover equipment to buy. It is up to you to figure out that strategy. I can't tell you what to do. I will tell you, the L6, very good. But it takes all your TC, which means you can't even... Um, the commander doesn't even have uh, Blood Red Mag Boots. So, like, I guess that actually is one difference I didn't mention. So you could slip, and people will oftentimes try to slip new keys to steal their stuff. So, um, keep that in mind. But you can always just ask your friends, your teammates, be like, hey, I'm going to spend 40 TC on the L6. Can you buy me uh, no slips, please? Which are only 2 TC and a big deal. So, something to keep in mind. Uh, a lot of other nukes also buy the Juggernaut suit because it's extremely tanky. And the Juggernaut suit's biggest weakness is you're going to get stunned. But if you get stunned with your friends, they can just guard you, they can drag you away, and you aren't going to get cuffed if you're actively killing the people who are stunning you. So keep that in mind. Anyway, so we're going to want to bring the nuke, and we're going to want our jetpack, put our mask on, might as well put the helmet on, and I have a real oxygen, or I have an extended, so I might as well just breathe because it's going to last for a long time. How do you actually get to the station? Well, you go to the Syndicate shuttle console, check which dock you're docked at, which in this one is dock 1, and you just click on it and click undock. They are no longer docked. And you can unclick the dock to see where you're going. And you simply just fly away from the station a little bit. And just keep clicking the FTL button. You have to get about 200 meters out. 175 actually. And it takes about 30 seconds. But what you should do during this time, the IFF computer, uh, turn it off. Because if you have this on, anyone with a mass scanner, this, will be able to identify your vessel. And uh, as you can imagine, you uh, do not want that. Because people can board it and steal it, and they can even fly it back to your... <laughs> they can fly it back to the um, Nuki planet. We are here. We are currently 153 meters away from... 153 meters away from cluster. And our IFF is off, so they won't see us. However... We also don't want to get too close because Cargo Shuttle might end up hitting us, which is bad. But you don't want to be so far away either that you have to fl fly 100 meters in space. So, like, you could do something like this where you just keep the head space knowing that if I fly to the right, if I fly to the right, we will end up at a dock. And that is a good mental note to note. And yes, if you know the station, if you know Cluster, you could be like, hmm, the armory is up here. So I'm going to go up here and attack the armory. Once again, you should have a plan with your fellow nuclear operatives. I'm not going to come up with a fake plan. I'm playing by myself on a server. I'm teaching you the absolute basics. That is all I'm doing. Okay. So now we just know we need to fly right. So we take the nuke, because you need to bring the nuke with you. Do not leave it here. Unless you have a plan to have somebody guard it. But never, ever leave the nuke unguarded. I'm going to bring a C4 and you'll see why. But you could buy an EMAG or something. No, wait, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of options. So, remember, we made a mental note to the right. Can't, don't have to worry about spacing it. Going on a jetpack, they yank this thing off. And we fly east. So you could make a plan to leave the nuke at the sh shuttle and have it guarded. Or you could make the plan to bring it with you like uh, a lot of nukies do. And... As you'll notice, new keys have no external access. You have to blow in or emag in. So here I can leave the nuke not flying away. And I could place the C4. And you could emag in, you could fire axe your way in, you could take the time to use tools to dismantle it if you want to be quiet. The it's really limitless the uh, actual strategies you can do. It's also good to reorient your camera. And like you Oh, shit. All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to leave that in because that's funny as hell. Uh, don't uh, <laughs> don't put C4 right next to the nuke because uh, I almost blew it into space and I would have guaranteed lost. And here's an example. 
if you see somebody like this, just a gray shirt who just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, don't waste bullets on them. Either stab them to death with your combat knife or just ignore them. These people are not your threat. You do not want to waste your very vital resources and bullets on people that are no threat of you. Let space kill them. Space is your big friend here. And also, again, uh, having a crowbar is very, very helpful to this Danukis in general. And remember, turn on your pinpointer. And typically, the nuke disc will be on the captain. But um, some captains, unfortunately, aren't so bright and don't carry the disc on them. And once the crew is aware of your presence, expect cargo to start arming up. They'll start buying. Like, cargo will definitely start buying uh, guns. And security will start handing out guns to anyone because the goal is to stop you. And here we are. In this scenario, the captain uh, will still have... The disc is still in the captain's locker. So, like... If we just pretend the captain's there, we could just keep dragging the nuke. But one thing you could do, you could come to cargo and bomb the living hell out of it to make sure that um, cargo can't order guns and shoot you in the back, basically. Security, which is down here, is another threat. The armory has access to a lot of guns, a lot of ammo, things that can stop you, and mainly tasers. But on your quest to get the disc, which is the number one priority. The whole point of this is to get that fucking disc. You'd want to keep bombing your way, opening your way, hacking the way, make your life a little bit easier. But, like, EMAGs permanently break open doors anyway, so, like, still a big advantage. And just keep following it, and it's a little misleading. It's here, and once you wait for a charge, you can, uh, you can wait for a charge to break open the disc. And while I'm here, very important to note, since your card, by default, has no access, it is definitely worth stealing access from higher-ups. So if you kill the head of security, you kill any command, uh, killing them and taking their ID for you will let you walk through more doors and give you more mobility. And since I stole the captain's spare ID, now I can go get the disc. And now the goal is to go back to your nuke, wherever you left it. Hopefully, you know where you're leaving it. And... I'm not going to tell you the best place to put it, because there really isn't a... Th there is a best place. Putting it out in space stops the amount of people that can actively stop you, because they need EVA. And there's not very many armored EVA suits in the game. Basically, security is the only one that gets them. So they're, they're going to be your biggest threat, and otherwise you're going to have people wearing emergency suits or EVA suits, which have no bullet protection, and you can drop them pretty easily. But anyway, to actually arm the nuke, you take the disc, you left-click the disc into the nuke, you enter the code from before, which is 282-608. You anchor it. And then you press E for enter. And arm. It will tell every person on the station exactly where it is. And it will tell them that they have 300 seconds to disarm it. Now during this time, just as an example... If when you're defusing, when you're either entering the station or defending the nuke or just roaming the halls and fighting people, it is very much worth noting that anyone who has a stun baton in their hand or a disabler, those are your biggest targets because it only takes two hits to stun you or four disabler shots to disable you. And then if you have a gun in your hand, you'll drop it on the floor and they can use it against you. Security hard suit users aren't as much of a worry. That sounds kind of weird, but they're a lot slower. So the odds of them stun batoning you if you're healthy is basically none. You could just backpedal them as you shoot them, or I would not recommend melee fighting him with a baton because you're going to lose. You're going to get knocked out. But yet again, if you're also melee fighting them, you have superior armor. Like this armor as a commander is miles better than the security armor, so you can just brute force it. And if your medic's alive, they'll just keep. You can just keep asking for healing, or even just carry your own healing. And another thing to watch out for is people really, really like flare guns, and flare guns hurt bad, and they also like the uh, flare cartridges for, like, shotguns. 
But you can't get caught on fire if you space the area or you're in space. So it's worth mentioning that, like, if you want to have the most defense, space is... Uh, it's simple. Space is your friend as a Nuki. It prevents the amount of people that can easily attack you. It prevents the amount of damage you can take from fire-based weapons, aka like flare guns or shotguns with flare shells. And another thing you're going to want to be worried about is anyone carrying a shotgun, like a Kamerer, because they can put beanbags in them, like so, and they can shoot you with them, and it only takes two to stun you for a really long time as well. So if you see anyone walking around when it says he is holding a Kamerer, uh, they are also a bigger target, like if you're able to like just stand on the other side of glass and you see them, he's holding a camera. Well, be smart about it. And the only other thing I can mention at this point that I think a newbie needs to know is once the nuke is past 30 seconds, you can't, there's no time to disarm it. It takes over, it takes 30 seconds to disarm the nuke. And once that 30 seconds is gone, you should run. Because remember, the goal is to survive like the voice in the beginning says. And if you are, like, absolutely sure, I wouldn't recommend this, because I've defused nukes before. If you're absolutely sure that no one's going to come to it within, like, 40 or 50 seconds, you can leave early so you can guarantee survive. Because, like, I'm not going to be able to run across the station because where it's at. But you can also go down with a nuke. You can just tell some of your friends to go, and you can stay. And as one or two nukes dying is a lot better than all of them. And realistically, all of you can die. Nuking the station still counts as a major victory. But... Yeah, basically, to sum it up, don't lose your disc, or don't lose the nuke, get that disc, fucking arm it, and blow the station to hell. Don't waste bullets on civilians, don't waste bullets on people who aren't actively fighting you, because they might just come back and fight you later, then you can shoot them. But using all your supplies early means you're not going to have enough supplies to defend it. See, there's about 30 seconds left, so I could try to book it, 